I want to start this out with, uh, I think, one of the most crucial elements you must have. So all of you watching this, you might be in different stages of your business growth. And to some of you, this might just be like, yeah, duh, of course, you have to have the right mindset. But I found a lot of operators, they don't, I don't think they realize how important it is to have the right mindset. And by right mindset, I mean that things aren't going to work out. You're going to hire vendors and it won't work out. Um, my average client that started working with me had been through four or five marketing companies and they all had the same story. They're like, Mark, I was about to give up. Here's the thing. I actually don't think in all of the successful ones I've interviewed, I don't think they would have given up. You know, they said that I think they were trying to be nice that I would have given up. Um, I don't think they would have because they have a whatever it takes, no quit, I will make it work attitude. And they have the mindset that if it's to be, it's up to me, meaning I will make it happen no matter what. And the only one who is responsible for my success is myself. I love this quote. Um, you guys have probably seen it before, Winston Churchill, you know, um, <laughs> And, and that really says it all um, because look, again, there's going to be lots of failures, right? There's going to be lots of things you try that don't work out. I, re I love reading a lot about Amazon because Jeff Bezos fascinates me and he's obviously built something that just is out of this world, mind blowing of a business. I think they have uh, almost three quarters of a million um, you know, staff. And what you can learn from Amazon is they try out so many things. A lot of them you, you never hear about. You hear about the winners. And they spend billions and billions of dollars on failed um, experiments that just didn't work out. And, you know, you guys are all entrepreneurs. I, I'm guessing all of you on this. Um, on this training are entrepreneurs, right? And so as an entrepreneur, you need to know, you need to just keep trying new things because the ones that, the ones that succeed will pay for all of the ones that fail. Let me give you an example. I talked to, um, I talked to a kid yesterday. Uh, I think his name was Thomas. He was 23, 23 year old kid. Uh, lives down in San Diego. And um, he said, Hey, Mark, you know, um, I want to, I want to give you a shot. Um, you know, we run, uh, you know, I'm from Santa Rosa. We do a lot of like wine tour stuff and things of that nature. And um, I could just tell from talking to him that he understood even at such a young age that it is just trying new things out and, um, and, and being optimistic that they're going to work. I can almost predict um, which, which uh, customers I work with that aren't going to stick around based on their attitude when we start. If they're very unsure, unconfident, it's not even that they're unconfident in me, it's that they're unconfident in themselves. So, you know, believing in yourself and believing that, hey, it's going to work out. You have to just keep trying. That's the key. And this slide pretty much sums up all of that. You know, things won't be perfect when you start out. Uh, things take time. And, and really, there's no such thing as failing. It's only failing if, you, if you're making the same mistake every single time. So you really should be learning. Um, you know, if you're hiring the same agency every time, and getting the same crappy results, maybe you need to do a better job of vetting, vetting that agency. Now that's just one example, but I know, uh, especially when we're paying for SEO, which I don't offer SEO, but I know that's a huge investment. And so I see this all the time where operators <clears throat> will, um, they'll just sign up with a first SEO company that has a good sales pitch. And when I asked them, well, did you check references? How much investigating did you do? Only to find out they didn't check any references and it was just a savvy sales guy 
And the problem with SEO is you don't even know if it's working until three, more like six, it could be nine months. And so the problem is unscrupulous SEO agencies know this. And so they know worst case scenario, they can have you on the hook for six months because SEO takes time. And so uh, really doing your due diligence uh, when, uh, when uh, you know, selecting a vendor is one of the most important things you can do, especially when you're just starting out your business and you can't afford to waste $10,000 in six months and not only have you lost the money, but you've lost the time, right? And you have to start all over with someone else.